Hello, Haiku here for more Historic Artisan. Um, so I'm in kind of two ladders right now. Um, one that's once a week that we can switch our deck lists and um, the um, the Artisan Cup, I guess is what they're calling it. Um, so this is part of the, the just the ladder, ladder games. So I get to switch my deck list. So I'm playing the Madness version that I had referenced earlier um, that I think is much better. Um, and this is a fine hand. So obviously there's no open deck list and stuff, so it's a lot less overhead of thinking of what you're doing. Okay, so he's on either fairy is probably fairies. I think I think no, um, he played a, a fairy deck before. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll just probably uh, play the Kamano into um, Blood Tide Harvester. Let's see which one do I want to reveal. Couldn't use all my mana anyway, so I'll just go ahead and blood type harvester right now. I'll just get a yeah. So um, so I suspect that he's playing with spell stutter, and uh, there's the rogue lord um, that he could be playing with. I think this is going to be a fine matchup for me. It's all about the efficient removal, which Madness, I have um, um, basically eight removal spells plus Blood Tide Harvesters. But, I mean, this guy's pretty large in charge, That especially with the counter, that I'm just probably just going to attack with him and let, let the opponent race me. For a creature with a plus one plus one counter deals damage okay discard a card okay well that's very miserable against uh my madness deck um so whenever a creature you control so it would be i'd have to discard two cards um so i think i'll just get rid of that one um that way he can't block me and stuff like that so let's uh, grow my grow my Swiss sphere. And this is why I love this deck. I mean, I'm dealing eight damage on turn three. And there's some life gain as well. All right, good luck, opponent. He has one card in hand. Yeah, he's already chumping my creatures. And then uh, Kumanu means that he can't even get value out of this. Just broken cards are broken. Let's see, does he play ninjas? Oh, it looks like he does. So this turn, Blood Tide Harvester can't quite. If I draw untapped land, I could Blood Tide Harvester into Kitchen Imp attack. Which I, ooh, that's a uh, big boy. Um, since he has a three three, uh, I guess I could kill his two two. Blood type harvester. I guess I could blood type harvester kill his silver fur master and then attack in, and then and then his miscreant would just trade. I think 
think keeping the four is the four four more valuable. Just keeping a blocker back is fine. And I'm just gonna be cracking in for. I guess I didn't need to do this pre combat. Oop, no, 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 no. Cancel. Next. You attack. So, I didn't need to do this pre combat. I could have done it at instant speed, but I wanted to see what I drew. So the next turn I can Swiss Sphere, Akiba Rank, Reckoner Raid, and that should kill the opponent. Is this Fatal Push? What? How did he bring back Fatal Push? Instant, oh, Instant Sorcery or Fairy. I was like, it's not a Fairy card. Oh, did not catch that. Um, shoot. Yeah. I'll discard my Kitchen Imp for no value. So, all the more reason I should have just done that stuff at instant speed. Since I was tapping myself out, so there was no way for me to hold a mana. All right, I think he's dead. Let's see. That's gonna be nice to point at his face. So a little bit of anti synergy here, not not being able to play my creature to pump my prowess, but or play my spell to pump my prowess creatures. This is fine with me. Okay. It's a little unfortunate because now his miscreant does not trigger my fiery temper, but I can just fiery temper his face and attack in with everything. <laughs> yeah, that pretty much does it. No counters available. Yep. So whatever creature he lets through. So he has to have a fatal push to live. And it puts him still in a bad situation. Um, so I have to cast my fatal push right now to be lethal. So, I mean, I'll have to you know do this right now and then let's see if he has the fatal push but even if he has the fatal push it's not too bad for me okay game three life um i'll go ahead and keep the tap land in hand all right so, cling to dust, uh, can potentially keep him alive for one more turn. Okay, this is Vigilance. 
So you just want a removal spell, I guess. <laughs> See how many times can he do this? Five other cards, so he only can do it once. And then he has to lose this, although this is a liability since it loses him one life. Uh, I guess he's thinking about Ninja Twig. <sighs> Which, yeah, I agree with. You want to have the creature untapped. I guess he can't. He can't do either. So removal spell for the prankster uh, forces a chump block. Bolt kills him if if he plays his creature. Yeah, so he does. Okay, so bolt kills him. Removal spell, and this allows me to attack in and force a chump block. Nice. Okay, still hold my card. So now he's at a virtual one life. So he can go up to four. Okay, that doesn't, yeah, that puts him dead on board. I, I would have probably tried to hold out, cling to dust and try to draw a land the next turn, even though it was a low percentage play. I mean, he could have done it at instant speed, too. All right. Uh, so against... Oh, I forgot. I didn't I didn't update the sideboard. I was, like, looking at, like, why is this sideboard so borked? Uh, <laughs> so I kept these, like, random stuff in the sideboard. I didn't realize. Oops. All right. Uh, how many of the rogues are humans? Or are they mostly fairies? Rat ninjas? The the lord the rogue lord is beyond this one. The other rogue lord is a human. Uh, let's see. Okay, cut down. Call is kind of good if if he's gonna mil be milling me. <laughs> God, I have such bad cards in my sideboard. Oops. Half build deck. Uh, Anyway, so you guys can see this deck. I think this is the big draw to playing uh, Madness in uh, Artisan, and I guess the Root Walla being a free dis Madness outlet. All right, I don't think I need to overboard. I think I'm pretty favored. Uh, yeah. I wish I wish these were actual relevant cards instead of me just randomly taking out cards that I wasn't going to play with. Um, Shieldra's Edict, not necessary. Uh, and Painful Bond, probably not where I want to be. <laughs> I really hate the stupid sideboard changes that they made. Like you can't drag and drop. All right. But, uh, yeah, I won the first game, and I'm an aggressive deck that's going to match up pretty well against him, so I'm not too worried about not having a sideboard. <sighs> Just got to get win one of these two games. All right, yep. Yeah. Swiss spear, Swiss spear into madness outlet. Seems pretty good. And I do want to get my Swiss spear down. Uh, I'm not scared of um, him ninjutsuing or trying to race me or getting another miscreant in play and getting a little bit of value. That's not what this game is about. Oof. I definitely big oofs for the opponent. No play. Um. All right. So does he have a counter or what? So then I'll probably just fold air and epicure, and then that way I can double spell this turn. Uh, two mana, two mana, two mana. 
Okay, let's just go ahead and attack. Okay. It was pretty quick pass. So I think he's holding up a counter. So I think this play of doing two spells in one turn is pretty good. Maybe blowing my only removal spells a little bit aggro. Okay. Feel good about that. Him just drawing a card and cycling is fine. So next turn, pretty sure I'm just gonna kitchen imp and keep beat and keep the beats going. <clears throat> Fetal push, yep. <laughs> kitchen imp is pretty good against uh, Fatal push. He only has one black, so it's gonna be difficult for him to double. Sp I guess he could play this and then yeah, and Fatal push, so he can get down. A blocker. In which case, I probably fiery temper. Yeah. Ooh. Um. Can't quite. Don't have enough. Uh. Lands. I don't know if uh, this is a path I went down correctly where I'm trying to remove his creatures to just get in with my 1-1. One, one. I think I'd rather have played my 3-2. Just put a little bit more of a clock on. I mean, I guess I have two more removal spells. Okay, um, so I could Epicure into Fiery Temper the Miscreant, or I could just Blood Type Harvester Frostbite. Yeah, I think I just, I just Frostbite. Stick to stick to my guns and saying that we just need to get more creatures on the board. Get more pressure. I guess the fact that this pumps every creature in his deck is probably a little dangerous to keep in play. Because now whatever he plays can trade with the Harvester anyways. Yeah, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. So next turn, Epicure, Blood Type Harvester, take down his Prankster, and then Fiery Temper his Black Guard, and then I get to hit for one <laughs> a turn, eventually two a turn. Yeah, I think that's what I gotta do. Fortunate, unless, unless he doesn't play his Prankster. Probably smart of him too. All right. Um, so he doesn't have... Just draw a card, see what we get first. Oh, wish I had a mana for that. So headliner, 
I mean, that just puts them basically dead. All right. Do I attack with my kitchen imp? All right. Resolve all. All right. Well, that puts a stymie on my things. Uh, I just get this one cooking. Yeah. Maybe I messed up last turn by playing the Kitchen Imp and I should have just taken out the Black Guard. This card is pretty good against me. I, I, I should have respected it being a 2-4 rather than a... I guess if I had taken out the Black Guard, then I wouldn't have had a removal spell for the Prankster. Uh, so I discard Voldaren Epicure. Oh, this is not looking good. Okay. Okay, so I can get in for two plus All right, I'll just do this first to see what I draw, but I'm pretty sure I'm going for it. That's pretty reasonable. Okay, so let's see if he keeps back his black guard um, and try to, and it's gonna try to block me. I didn't realize this wasn't a rogue, even though it's a rogue lord. So the opponent has to. His fatal pushes are dead unless unless a creature le so unless he basically ninjas. Um, he can't kill my kitchen imp, so he, I don't think he can attack with his black guard now. So then basically I have how many fire tempers left in my deck? Oof. Only two left in my deck. So two fiery tempers. What else? Not really anything else. I guess any any uh fatal push or other removal spell will get rid of the black guard. I guess no, I use my only frostbite. So yeah. I think it's pretty clear. Uh, attack. Mm, I guess it's not that clear. If he has another creature, yeah, attack with those two. Get me on a one turn clock. And then try to block down my. Hmm. I don't have a madness outlet, unfortunately. So now I he has two flyers that can attack in for lethal. GG's. Okay. So any changes? 
after seeing that. I think I just got to be... I think... Probably got to get rid of his black guard then. So... Just to stop his madness stuff, or not his madness, <laughs> I'm the madness deck. Stop his rogue or his lords from stacking on each other. I gotta remember to use the Unas Prowler ability to my advantage if I have a thing. Okay, this is just nice and aggressive. Alright, and then... Playing this deck more and more, um, I think you want to play this. So it's debatable where you whether you want to try to get um, the counter onto a different creature and just use the prowess on the monastery sphere. But I'm of the opinion that this is just the better play, and you skip over the the, the prowess. And then this comes into play one turn faster. So I can headliner and tech in for a pretty big chunk of damage. Let's see. But I started off the game with two busted cards. It's going to be pretty hard for him to come back. Alright, um, yeah, he has a hard choice. <laughs> Does he take out my headliner to try to get rid of my madness outlet? Okay. What does he bring back? Fairy. It's funny, this doesn't count as a fairy card. I guess it counts as an instant or sorcery, though. So he's just going to try to block. Or does he have a fetal push? Yep, I think I go ahead and crack in. Krakow, Krakow. Oof. That really puts him pretty dead. The cards are so good. So his out next turn is to um, play the, the Lord into this, and then he can have reasonable blocks. The plus one, plus one counter Lord. Uh, so he only has three relevant cards in his hand. Let's see if he can do it. He's got one blocker, he needs another blocker. I guess I can just go face with this too. But given I have the headliners, I, I think there's no reason not to. Yeah, so, so this is his ideal play since killing his lord won't actually get rid of that. But now he's tapped out. Right, one. There we go. All right. So hopefully you appreciated the, uh, the power of these cards. I, th I think that this really uh, puts a. Uh, Madness at a pretty good position. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, there's there's a hiatus right now, uh, but uh, a popper is going to come back. So hopefully you guys enjoy some or are fine with waiting for some popper gameplay while I play some artisan. See ya.